Texan Global School. General Form. In this class, the process to obtain the general form of the equation of a straight line is analyzed. If we remember all the forms and equations of a line demonstrated in previous classes, they can all be represented in a general way. That is, a, x, plus b, y, plus c, equals zero, where a, b, and c are the coefficients of the general form. Thus, we will find the elements of the linear equation given by the relationships of these coefficients. If b equals zero, the equation reduces as a, x, plus c, equals zero. Therefore, the abscissa x is equal to negative c over a. Now, if b is different from zero, we can divide both sides of the equation by b. Then, obtain a over b, x, plus y, plus c over b, equal to zero. Remembering the equation of a line given its slope and intercept, y equal to m, x, plus b, we can adapt the equation to this form and see that the slope m is equal with negative a over b and the y-intercept b is negative c over b. We see then that with the coefficients of the general form, we can obtain the elements of any line. In conclusion, a line is determined if at least two independent conditions are known. Let's look at an example. Find the values of the coefficients of the general form of the equation of a straight line. t passes through the points p, one of coordinates negative 1, 1, and p subscript 2, with coordinates 1, negative 2. Since we have two conditions, in this case, two points, we can graph first to see the behavior of the line. Now, since the points are on the line, their coordinates must satisfy the equation. Therefore, derived from the first point, x is equal to negative 1, and y is equal to 1. Substituting into the general form of the equation of a line we obtain, a times negative 1, plus b times 1, plus c, equals 0. So we have a first equation, minus a plus b, plus c, equals 0. Derived from the second point, we have that x is equal to 1, and y is equal to negative 2. Substituting into the general form of the equation of a line, we obtain a times 1, plus b, times negative 2, plus c, equals 0. So we obtaining a second equation, a minus 2b, plus c, equals 0. Solving the system of equations 1 and 2 inches terms of c, let us begin using the method of elimination seen in previous classes. By directly adding the equations to cancel a, results minus b plus 2c equals 0. Therefore, b is equal to 2c. Now, substituting the value obtained into equation 1, results minus a plus 2c plus c equals 0. Therefore, a is equal to 3c. Once the system of equations has been solved in terms of c, substitute the values obtained in the general form of the equation of a straight line. Obtaining in this case, 3c, x, plus 2c, y, plus c, equal to 0. Since we have the same factor in all terms, which is c, let us divide the entire equation by c, both members so as not to alter it. In this way, results the general form of the equation of the straight line given by the points, p1 of coordinates negative 1, 1, and p subscript 2 with coordinates 1, negative 2. The equation of this line is 3x plus 2y plus 1 equals 0. In this way, the coefficients are a equal to 3, b equal to 2, and c equal to 1. We can verify that the equation is correct by substituting the abscissa or ordinate of each point, then verifying that the other value of the coordinate is obtained. Finally, let us calculate the slope as negative a over b, in this case, negative 3 halves, and the y-intercept as negative c over b, that is, negative 1 half. In summary, we have the general form of the equation of the line given by the points p, 1 of coordinates negative 1, 1, and p subscript 2, with coordinates 1, negative 2. Coefficients. a equals 3, b equals 2, and c equals 1. Slope, negative 3 halves or negative 1.5 and y-intercept of negative 1 half or negative 0.5. Texan Global School. Global Online Learning. Knowledge for the World. www.texanglobalschool.com.